Well, in the shed here now, prepping for uh, an ice fishing trip, and I would consider this one to be a bit epic. Uh, tomorrow, me and the kids, we're going to go to uh, Makovic a day earlier than planned because the next day is going to have a bit of rain, and that wouldn't be very comfortable for the kids. So, But once we get to Makovic, we're going to be there a couple of days, and then me and another group, we're going to leave Tuesday and hit around up to north to Hebron. And from Northwest River to Hebron and back again, I, I expect from the round trip to be about 14 to 1600 kilometers on the snowmobile. So, got me quite a bit of going. So, you want to be well prepared for a trip like that. So, I got some like spare screw parts, bearings, wheel, uh, shock. And, you know, I was kind of strapped for time. So, I had the snowmobile in the garage, I had the axle bearing changed on and a few other things. And try to, you know, try to limit any possible, uh, uh, you know, trouble that we might have. Uh, you know, trouble that far away be hard getting stuff back and so uh, yesterday I picked up a new tent there <coughs> for my brother uh, he had a tent but it was a bit smaller and that was a bit bigger crew going so this is a 9 by 12 he wanted a 10 by 12 I think Terry already had this one started and he had to get a new one made uh, wouldn't have gotten done in time for this trip and so I gotta get the ice auger straightened away and another stove over another shed and the boys are taking all kinds of gear and lots of fish and tackle and I'm gonna take along my scales and trail camera and and got food to get and something like that so but I think uh, just for a little bit of fun I'm gonna take line the scales and uh, well this one's in pounds well converted whoever can, <coughs> whoever can come the closest to the largest char that I catch in ounces will win a little prize uh, nothing great but uh, I'll give them this uh, this lure I'll send you this lure with the polar bears on it since I harvested the polar bear the year <laughs> and maybe I'll send uh, uh, refrigerator magnet like this one, Labrador the big land. I'll just stick that in an envelope and send it off. Whoever can guess the closest in ounces to the largest char that I catch. And if I don't catch either one, we'll have to figure something out on another video. <laughs> and you know, the weather is kind of a lot of mild weather net. And, and if for some reason that uh, uh, we don't get down to Hebron, well, at least I'll be in Makovic uh, with the family. and. We'll be going to ice fishing in places like Tushialik or Alevik or maybe even up in Kickapak, Kickapak Bay there uh, for some some of those uh, large smelt. So uh, even the backup plan is pretty darn good. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so anyway, just as like a little intro to the trip. Uh, after Tuesday, if everything goes well, uh, well, I won't be online for quite a while after that because I think we're having like four to five nights in the canvas tent. So, so it was a big trip. Uh, you know, we're... You gotta be well prepared for it, and that's what I'm do <coughs> doing here now. And uh, tomorrow morning, we'll be leaving for McCovey. Well, we got uh, just put everything ready now. Uh, gotta wait for the store to open, pick up a couple of small things, and then uh, we'll be heading down to McCovey. Got uh, a bit colder last night, uh, uh, everything stiffened up a little bit, and uh, <coughs> uh, but that's supposed to be so nice tomorrow, so. Uh, but anyway, before we leave, I got a box here from uh, Gary Mast. Uh, he sent me a package last year, and I got a good idea what's in this package, and it's something, you know, that I wanted to try ever since I was a, a little boy. And uh, later on, Gary, I'm going to get a, a package back to you. Uh, not 100% sure what it is yet, but uh, kind of something cultural, I guess. And he sent me some honey last year. And look, I got, he sent some more honey. A jar of... Uh, Honey, and this is oh, two jars of honey. <laughs> and this is something that I always wanted to try honeycomb, real honeycomb. And uh, it's the first time I've ever seen it. <laughs> Get some round and some square. Okay, look, these, these rounds is in sections. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this in the house, and the kids really want to try it as well. So, uh, I really appreciate that, Gary. This is almost like a, a bucket list item in a sense. Uh, this is something that I really, really always wanted to try. Uh, you know, sometimes you see that videos when they were harvested in the wild and stuff, and man, it just looks so good. So, uh, we'll be trying that before we go to McCovic. And, uh, yeah, my wife uses a lot of honey now uh, in her uh, coffee and that, so... Uh, for sweetener uh, so we're gonna put this to real good use and we'll probably make some energy bars and stuff as well so I really appreciate it Gary uh, 
top notch my friend and uh, I'll be getting something back to you childhood dream come true <laughs> oh, got that on that camera too. Well, just got here, 239 kilometers from Northwest River to McCovey. The kids have gone in there now, so uh, yeah, I'm still licking my lips from eating that honey this morning. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna be here for a couple of days, enjoy the holidays with the family a bit, and then the uh, crew of us be heading down to to uh, Hebron Tuesday. So. Anyway, we made it this far and hopefully we'll get all the way. <laughs> so anyway, appreciate y'all watching guys and uh, hope to see y'all in the next one. All the best.